It says, if I am I, because you are you. And you are you because I am I. Then I am not I and you are not you. But if I am I because I am I, and you are you because you are you, then I am I, you are you, and we can talk. Talk about is how to stop playing a game, how to stop being a fake self, how to find my true identity, and also how to let you be yourself. What's the difference between pain and suffering? I think I'm being too uh, abstract here. Let me illustrate it for you. I get up at 2 in the morning to go get a glass of water. I walk across the living room in the dark. I stub my toe on the ottoman and I say, Ow! That's pain. I then sit down on the ottoman, put my hands on my face, and say, Oh my God, why does stuff like this always happen to me? That's suffering. <laughs> right? Because love is what I do for you. Respect is what I don't do because of you. You know the story about the locks? Locks is a singular word in Jewish, by the way. It's not plural. I don't mean locks like keys and locks. I mean locks, like a locks, you know? Salmon, okay. <laughs> salmon, whatever. You can't tell the story and say salmon. It's locks. So one time there was this locks who was swimming in the stream. <laughs> One form of giving which is not inherently selfish or self-expansive. You know what form of giving that is? One time of giving that's actually respectful? Giving someone space. Give them space. Back off. There's something immensely respectful about telling a person in crisis, no, I don't need to add to the drama by jumping in and getting involved. As much as that would validate my ego and make me feel helpful, you know, my ego would love to come fix your problem. But I think the respectful thing to do is to let you have some space and between you and God, I think you're going to work it out. Somebody once told me, there's three categories for anything that ever happens in my life. If I need clarity, there's just three columns. One is uh, my business, God's business, none of my business. How many of us take time as a, as, a, as a regimen of our day to meditate and to try to proactively change the way that we experience events in life? We spend a lot of time thinking and planning on how to change other people or how to get people to do what we think they ought to be doing. How much time do we spend a day changing the way our brains work, rewiring our thought patterns? Through meditation. It's actually the most productive way to spend our time. And I came, and, this, and the serenity prayer is too long for me. I'm, I'm liable to cause some damage in the amount of time that it takes to recite it. So I came up with a shortened version, and you're, 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 you're free to, to use it. It's not patented, it's free. Uh, a shortened version of the serenity prayer. This is what I do when um, I'm trying to uh, exert control neurotically over uh, life around me and uh, not owning up to my own uh, inner perception of things. Okay. It goes like this. you got to imagine it, though. Life is chaotic and people are going crazy and this and that and this distraction and this. And, and, and I'm reacting and I'm, and I'm starting to feel sensitive and, I'm start, and I'm, the gears are starting to turn and it's, it's getting out of hand. And all of a sudden, here's, here's the short version of the surrender. It goes like this. That's it. That's it. Get a life. Preferably your own. Be you. Be you. To thine own self be true. Be yourself. Be yourself. So, first thing is, I got to own up. Take responsibility for my spiritual growth. That's if I am not for myself, who will be? Bam. Second is, now that I have an autonomous sense of self, I can be a giver. If I'm only for myself, what am I? And once I do that, then I can answer the question, if not now, when? When does life begin? No. Now. Now. It's corny as heck, but I don't care. I love to say it. Every moment's a gift. That's why they call it the 
present. Every moment God is giving us reality, that's his business. We have a choice how to react, that's our business. What you do, that's your business. If each one of us does our job, God, me, and you, we're all going to get along just fine. <laughs> so, how about this? Let's say the short version of the serenity prayer together. Imagine the stresses of your life. Imagine the people who are misbehaving, who are not doing what they ought to be doing. The people who are not living up to what you think they ought to be living up to. And, on the count of three, one, two, three. <sighs> that sounded good, but we could put a lot more into it. Let's try it again. One, two, three. <sighs> and let us say, Amen. Amen.